Hello, hello again <laughs> to another tutorial and this time is uh, I got an old uh, Olympus 20 OM 20 with the uh, I mean the camera was really stuck in everything uh, the film winder advanced lever uh, would not do anything so I mean and there's another f enough battery it says peep but nothing happened not at all so um, I took off the ring here and I looked everywhere but nothing seems to actually work so but I figured out uh, which is quite simple but um, I compare photos on the internet with the bottom part here and uh, what I found it was one spring that sits wrong so um, <clears throat> I need to go into it take uh, the bottom plate off is set by three screws and I use a JIS 0 0 screwdriver uh, this is actually a PH00 which normally would not work pretty good but uh, I filed and grind the tip so uh, it fits perfect in the screw we also need a, uh, a good tweezer uh, a dented tweezer is absolutely great and a plier will also be handy to bend one spring that sits has come out of alignment now so we take off the three screws nothing special about that uh, it seems to be that one screw in the middle here is longer than the other one in the side on the each side So there it is. Off with the plate that it looks like something here. And um, <clears throat> what's really I could uh, manipulate the uh, mechanic part here to actually um, make some movement, kind of. See this bar here which has connected to the uh, shutter button um, I could advance the film advance the camera but look this bar will actually uh, fire the shutter and then it's locked again so what's actually happened this bar should actually go back to normal position so if I hold here and actually advance the no nothing works so um, what really happened uh, I found out that one spring is out of place this spring here it doesn't go any way I mean I think it should stay it should rest on here but it uh, doesn't do anything so but over here there's a pin and uh, it looks I mean there's nothing connected to at the moment but what I figured out is by pulling this spring over here now see what's happened uh, one should just manipulate this wheel so advance the camera okay look and then if I press the shutter button it works because 
this spring that was coming over here and I think okay it has to rest there but if it rests it if this uh, end of the spring is resting here uh, it doesn't do anything so I move it over here because it looks logical to to have it set there and by that it's possible to advance the camera what seems to be interesting this one is a bit I mean it looks like it's a bit sticky but um, it doesn't really matter because it works I mean at least <laughs> If one advance the camera too fast, uh, see, so there is something that is sticky at the moment. But I'm pretty sure this spring here has to sit there, because if you look at the pictures on the internet, by cameras who is uh, taking apart the bottom plate this spring has to sit there so <clears throat> by adding some lighter fluid it can actually <clears throat> soften the the uh, old sticky Uh, oil or something and then it should work as you see here then it should flip back to the to the starting position So this one is, is a bit, see, there is an end point here, I mean a stop point here with this wheel, will stop, uh, don't think if it's possible to see. So, um, but that's actually the the uh, the error maybe this pin here has been a little longer I don't know it seems that uh, it has been longer but uh, I could just do something to make it fit better so by bending it a little upward, something like that, it will have a better fit. So we have to manipulate this one back. This one goes here. So now it's, it's actually attached better to the uh, pin here. I would guess that part of it is uh, oh out of focus sorry I would guess uh, this pin here should be longer than it, it is so I would guess that but now it actually works pretty good and uh, I think I I uh, will just put it back together and everything is working fine again. So that's it. That was a small tutorial about a nice old camera. 
if I set to something one a second. If I set it to auto, of course. Of course, there's too much light here. So by putting my hand over it, it should expose longer. Which is something. Check. So, and with a lens on, just for give it a try. Put to something sixteen. Yeah, it's pretty good. And yeah, it seems to actually work again. So that's pretty good. <laughs> it's an easy fix. So just put it back in set this to off and then we are done <laughs> and I think it's a common error in this camera so uh, maybe it can help somebody. <clears throat> so manual, one second. And the meter is working, hopefully. Yes, it's pretty good. So that was it, and uh, well, <clears throat> so hope you can use the information in this small tutorial. So see you again sooner in another film. Bye bye.